so I've been having a little bit of fun with the Arduino Leonardo here. It's um, pretty useful actually because you don't need to code anything special on the computer side in order to use it for an interface. It actually identifies itself or it has the ability to identify itself as a HID human interface device um, like a mouse or a keyboard or a controller. Um, so what I've done is um, just pins one through, uh, I'm sorry, two through eight here are um, wired up to a bunch of toggle switches here. Um, and I'll talk about these in a minute. Um, and I'm currently using them as a controller for FTL. Now, there's a bunch more controls that I need to do, even just to balance the, the power and to control the weapons. Um, battery's low. But um, I just thought I'd make a quick video here. So they're, they're all running through here, um, which this just goes to, uh, to the toggle switches here. Now these are a little bit interesting. They are uh, center off uh, three position switches. So when they're in the middle here, uh, they're, they're completely disconnected and then um, it allows me to toggle both up and down to make different circuits here. Center post is ground. Uh, and the outside ones each go to a different pin. Um, I'm using the internal pull-up resistors here, so there's no resistors in this circuit, um, and I set the voltage to high with digital write. Um, very, very simple circuit that makes... Um, now here, I also have... This is uh, only two positions, on and off, um, but it still has three pins, and the reason for that is so one of the pins can be used just for power for the LED. Um, the code on this, uh, if I put up a code sample, you'll notice is reversed uh, because it's actually making the that circuit all the time when it's uh, when it's uh, toggled like this with the shield over it, and um, toggling it up actually breaks the circuit, but lights it up. So, I've, uh, by the way, set that to jump on uh, FTL, so I flip that up here, and goes to, t goes to uh, jump to the next location. If you look at the, the power here, I've got uh, decreased power to uh, engines on the middle switch here. Decrease is, is uh, down and then up to increase it again, center to leave it. Shields on the first here. And by the way, if this goes all the way down, you see, holding, uh, basically toggling it up once is like uh, pressing down the key and not uh, releasing it, which in this game, uh, it, it doesn't automatically repeat so I didn't need, don't need to worry about it. It'll only put it up and down uh, one bar per uh, cycling of the of the toggle here. So it simplifies it. I can uh, I can put in some repeat detection later but I haven't yet. So thought that might be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna you know make a nicer panel and get some better buttons um, and make it a little fancier later but um, it's been a fun little project so far. Uh, I I'm enjoying it.